And we're looking to Pachinko. This is a game that is basically a Pachinko uh, similar game, I suppose. So you can press space to drop this ball. And the whole goal is to make this sequence here. So if I put these in order, I don't bounce on these. <laughs> a little unfortunate you can't bounce on them. But uh, the ball goes through 1, 3, and 2. And that is the start of the sequence. But also to hit 1, 2, 1, 3. So it's like, I need to think of some momentum sort of way in order to get this to work. And I can also draw three lines that the ball can, like, move across, but I only have three lines, so I can do that. So I've got one three there, so I don't know. I'll need to, like, somehow curve this around if that's even possible. Of course, somehow it is. Uh, okay, so we've got another one to happen. Uh, it would be nice if we didn't actually hit the three the, other, the, the next time around. I'm not sure if I can make that happen, though. Okay, let's just move the three like that. Okay, let's see if you get way more of a bounce from the curve than you would like expect. Hmm. One, three, two, one. But I don't want to hit the three. I just don't. The thing is, I get the same amount from the curve seemingly as the first time around, which isn't good. Although, I don't know. No, that, hmm. <laughs> we almost did it. Like, if we actually get higher speed the second time around, which I don't know if it's ideal. I also can't, like, move a line after, like, I have to redraw the line if I want to remake it with a slight modification, which is, you know, uh, I don't know. It's a little weird. You get, wait, you get so much speed off that it's ridiculous. Okay, what if I draw the, the three like that? Like, it, I don't know if it's possible to do it with, like, just one line or, or whatever. It didn't even turn at all. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how about... One, three, two... We do this, we curve it up. Nope, nope, that was a terrible curve. So that it goes up... Hmm. Nope. Uh, we don't want to hit the three on the... Like... We don't want to hit the three on the rebound. I don't want to do something like that. But I don't know. Physics are a meme. That's, that's a quote. That's a quote, quote of the day. Physics are a meme. You got something. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but like... Yeah, it's very close, but also it's not going to work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's funny that it manages to hit this diagonal, but it's not going to work. If it was honestly a little bit more angled, we could do this. Like, it just needs to turn slightly at the very end. Uh, when it gets to the one. <laughs> there you go. The smallest of lines. You could probably do it in one line. But, there you go. There's probably some, uh, you could do, like, other things with this idea, obviously. Like... Well, first of all, one line, uh, you have to make the sequence end, uh, other numbers, other balls, etc. So, yeah, that's a nice game. <laughs> there, there's my solve. Anyway, bye. Okay, just for a bit of a challenge, Studio369 in the comments, also known as Raz, has this sequence. Where it's funny because you do, you try to go to one, two, four times, and then you hit three. So, yeah, well, let's try that one. Okay, so... This, you would expect that you would solve this kind of thing by hitting one, two a bunch of times, and then hitting three on the very last bit. So, we we'll try a lesson like this, where it goes to the same thing over and over, but with low speed. Um, we have, well, actually we have more horizontal space than vertical space. Nope. Hmm. Well, obviously it wasn't sloped enough, so... I don't know. It's because you gained so, like, an unnatural amount of horizontal speed that I think this might work. No, you actually gained less horizontal speed the second time around. Um, this only works if I can somehow gain more and more, but not get it until the very end. Like that. 
<laughs> ah, okay. So that didn't last that long, but there we go. There we go. All right. Bye.